my beautiful Leos. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot. We're going to be doing the reading for the first half of February. For this reading, we're going to be using two Oracle decks and two Tarot decks. All right, and I have already meditated upon the cards and have pre-shuffled. But as always, I shall shuffle live. All right, and uh, before we get out, uh, before we begin, if this reading does resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that it notifies you when the next video does come out. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the reading. Take this is the first card that came out for you, Leos. Um, I feel like some of you need to step outside of your comfort zone. Hmm. I wish y'all could have seen that terrible shuffling. <laughs> oh boy. All right, what is the second oracle card we're gonna give out to Leo? The universe, what is it that you'd love to tell Leo? Oh, and there it is. Accept. May you receive what is as it comes. Yeah, step outside your comfort zone. Yep, yep. Let's find out what the tarot cards are. Yeah, I, and for some of you, I feel like um, you feel like this is taking a risk, but it might not really be a risk. You're just perceiving it as such. Um, I don't know. We're going to see what the tarot says. Okay, my angels, my universe. What is that you would like me to know for the first half of... February, and the first card is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, my father, my angels, my universe. So you would like me to know for the first half of February. Okay. And the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. okay. Ooh, ooh, two cards flew out. In reverse, the devil and the page of cups. Ooh. All right, my Leos. So, hmm. <laughs> okay. So, let's start with the oracle cards here with the take risk. Um, I feel... As I mentioned early on, that I feel like there's a risk you need to take or you perceive something as a risk but really isn't. Um, risk is very, I mean, it's very personal, right? What's risky to one person might not be risky to somebody else. You know, someone who is a frequent uh, rock climber they don't foresee that as risky versus somebody who's never done it might be like, mm, I might want to take out life insurance if I'm going to do that, right? So again, it's all about perception. On this particular uh, card, there is a mountain goat. And mountain goats, uh, like they jump from like mountain to mountain or like edges to edges. And, and they can stand on a very tiny little edge like they could be like 12 feet away and it's super easy for them. Like they make it like it's not a big deal, right? Like it's super easy for them. But us as a human, we'd be looking at them like, I'm not jumping 12 feet all the way up here. That's insane, 
right? That's risky for you, but it's not risky for the, uh, the mountain goat, right? So I feel what this card is saying is pay attention to what you consider to be a risk. Um, and it also urges, I feel, uh, for you to do something that, that might intimidate you a little bit because, you know, fear and comfort are killers of growth and you can't grow without expanding your, your, um, what's the, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not boundaries, but like horizons, right? If, if you live in like a plant, right? Um, it, it, a plant can only grow as big as its pot, right? But if you move that same plant, what's in, once it's, you know, full, um, and it can't grow any further in the one pot, if you transplant it into a bigger pot, that plant will get bigger. But again, it'll only grow as big as that pot allows. And then you have to continue that growth process if you want that plant to get bigger and bigger, right? Same thing here. It, you can't grow if you stay stagnant, if you stay in the same place. Fear is, I don't know if some of you have um, cancer in you, but I just did the reading for cancer. And uh, for them, uh, uh, fear was also a big portion of the uh of the reading for for the second card except may you receive what it what is as it comes i mean really there's no better way of saying it than how the card reads it itself accept things as they as they are as they come if it's coming your way you know it's it It's like, uh, what's it saying? Uh, feel the fear and do it anyways. I feel like this is telling you, dive in. Dive in, accept it. Accept it. Um, yes, it might be scary, but do it anyways. That's, that's what I'm getting here. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this is, uh, to me, just... Uh, the night is the the knight of pentacles is the slowest of all the nights um but this isn't even slow like this is like stagnation to the fullest cuz it's in reverse um and it's like i don't know if you're just not wanting to budge because fear has really gotten a grip of you um Or you're just not wanting to move because of a past experience that's gone wrong uh, and maybe led you astray. Uh, and maybe you were lost a little bit after, after, you know, after that particular experience. But the reality is, and I say this frequently, loss of something isn't necessarily it isn't necessarily loss, right? If you view it as such, then yes, it is going to be. But if you learn a lesson, then it's growth. If you learn a lesson within the loss, then it's growth. That's fine because now you learned a way not to do something, right? It's not learning a way to not do something at all, ever. That's not the lesson. It's, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm not going to jump. Uh, 12 feet like this mountain goat that was dumb I hurt myself well yeah you're not a mountain goat right that doesn't mean that you know you can't go hiking right it, it one thing doesn't is not the same as the other um the tent of <laughs> I was gonna say tentacles <laughs> ten of pentacles wow uh, my brain was going way faster or my mouth is going way faster than my brain. The 10 of pentacles here is it's, you know, the happily ever after card for me. I love this card, but in this particular card in the, um, and the imagery on it, um, it, I mean, 10 of pentacles still 
it, it, it's still happiness. Um, but in this particular card, there are two rats and there are four pentacles outside of the box. And what this screams out to me is that you are more afraid of the risk than the rewards at this point. This is what this is telling me. And, and it all, to me, this is all about focus, right? Um, it, it's like you're afraid uh, because you have six pentacles inside the box, but you have four outside. And there's like these rats kind of uh, going through your box, right? And um, it, it's like you're afraid of if you do something that... that you're going to be stripped away of something. Um, the, those are the feelings that I'm getting. That's the energy that I'm getting from, from this particular card. With the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the page of pentacles, I need some water. I'm so sorry. With the page of pentacles in reverse, it's, it's like you're afraid of hearing bad news. Um, it's almost like you're anticipating bad news in this particular instance. Like, oh, you know, oh, if I do it, oh, you know, and someone says, oh, I told you so. Or I knew that uh, if I did it, then, you know, if it turned out wrong, oh, I knew it was going to happen. That sort of a feeling, right? So don't assume that it's going to go wrong. Uh, don't do that. Um, but I feel like that's, that's the energy that you're holding in. Um, and the, the devil in reverse is just straight up fear, right? And you are afraid of, uh, of something not going the right way. Um, th th I think that is truly your biggest fear. And what I have to say to that, Leo, is... Dude, you're a lion. Come on, man. Uh, let's let's go. You know, yes, you are afraid. That's totally normal. But let's go. You got this. You can't live your life in fear. You can't. That that is not a life. That is barely living, living like that, right? But let's see how we can get you out of this, Leo. Um, let's see what advice we have so that you can get out of this. Oh, okay. Oh, two cards came out for the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, Forward Motion. That's good. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles. That's excellent. So here's the thing. Um, with these two cards in combination, it's moving forward from your comfort. So, uh, and, and this could be anywhere in, in your life. This will apply across the board, whether it's love, finances, a new job, whatever. Whatever this applies to, uh, let it resonate the way it, it needs to resonate with you. But with these two cards together to clarify this Nine of Pentacles, this is stating that move forward with small actions you are still comfortable with that you are uncomfortable with but you are comfortable in making because they're not so um outlandish in your own mind but they're still um they're, they're still a little bit more comfortable for you let me give you an example of that so let's say for instance something that would be uh, and the, this, these are going to be really ridiculous um, examples. Um, going to, like, you don't want to go to a different restaurant ever. Like, you don't ever want to go to a different restaurant. You always want to go to the same restaurant, right? So what is, like, something that's uh, risky for you is going to a different restaurant, right? Baby steps to take towards that where you're still comfortable is going to the same restaurant, but maybe not ordering the same thing. Okay. Even smaller than that order that 
you know, burger and fries that you like. Um, but instead of burger and fries, do a burger and salad or a burger and onion rings. Something that isn't oh that isn't always presented in this perfect little box that looks the exact same every single time. All right. So what this is saying, allow your your range of comfort to slowly widen so that you can get out of this fear and anxiety of 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 taking a risk or of what uh what a change could look like for you right what something different could be for you um and that could change in you know depending on how frequently you do that you know that could change you know within this year where you're like oh okay well that's not so bad and then all of a sudden at the end of the month, you're like, dude, I'm going to a new restaurant. This is amazing. And that's a huge leap for you. You know, it might not be a big leap for somebody else and that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about other people. You worry about you. You got this. Take baby steps. We're going to get you there. All right, let's see. Let's get um, the 10 of this card just wants to flip. just slowly come across. Look at this, the two of pentacles with the 10 of pentacles. Balance, make decisions that are balanced, okay? You don't have to go to one extreme or another, just a balanced decision. It's totally fine um, because remember with this 10 of pentacles, you know, you know, you're, you're afraid that someone or something's going to take that happiness. Right. And, and again, this is your, this is how you see things. This is how you, it depends on your focus, right? So if you're focused more on the four that are taken away, but not on the six that you actually have, that causes that fear, that anxiety. So with the two of pentacles, this is saying, Hey, listen, weigh the two, really pay attention to the two. Should we be more concerned about the four that we lost or that are still there, but just not inside the box? Because you technically you didn't really lose them. They're just not inside the box, right? Or should we be focused on the fact that they're really not there, even though they really aren't? Or should we focus on the six that are nicely bundled inside this little box, right? It's all about perception. So the more you change the way you see things and the way you perceive things, that anxiety is going to lessen, okay? And the, oh, okay. With the Page of Cups and the Devil, both in reverse, we have the King of Swords. Look at you, getting all logical. Yeah, yeah. We have the Three of Pentacles. Um, which is, that, that's good. Like, it's like you're moving on. That's good. You're making small progress. That's excellent. And then we have the six of swords, uh, but it is in reverse. And the six of swords is really about moving on and new beginnings. And I feel like you are going to move on and, but I don't feel like it's going to be as swiftly as, other people do things and that's okay. You work at your own pace. If slowly is going to get you there, but it's going to concretely get you there, right? Then this is a huge leap for you, right? So I'm going to give you another example, right? So let's, let's take, for instance, a, a, um, the way you eat, right? So let's say we're focused on, on, a. a an, an eating habit, right? So if, uh, you know, someone has suggested to you, oh, go vegan, you're like, oh, that's not going to happen. Um, and they're like, oh, no, 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 it's the best thing ever, blah, 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 blah. And you're like rolling your eyes. You're like, I'm not doing that. I like my burgers and fries, right? Which is what we discussed here. It's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But as I mentioned, you know, you can go and have your burger and a salad, right? Or, or, or something to that extent. And, and maybe instead of having, you know, you know, fried foods, um, every day, you know, you go from every other day. 
And then you start, I'm not suggesting going vegan. I'm not suggesting that at all or giving up your burgers. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just giving really silly examples. Um, you know, start implementing a little bit more water so that when you're eating uh, or, or drink water before eating, uh, because when you drink water, it fills you up more. So you're not eating, like it satiates the stomach. So when, like when you start eating, you're not eating as much because you get filled up quicker, right? And then you start eating slower because the slower you eat, the more it allows, uh, it allows your stomach to communicate your brain and say, hello, I'm full, I'm done. And then slowly but surely, you're going to start seeing that you did, you're not able to finish that whole burger. And all you really have in one sitting, um, and you really haven't done anything except add water, drink water, never drink water uh, while you eat. Don't do that. Always before. Okay. Always before. Um, and, uh, drink water and eat slowly. Two very simple things. You're having, you haven't really done anything. You have not changed an eating habit at all. You're still having your burger, but all of a sudden, guess what? You're not having to eat that entire burger in one sitting. So you're not having to eat, you know, over a thousand calories and a stupid amount of cholesterol in one sitting. Now you've cut that in half you know, to 500 calories and a lot less stupid amount of cholesterol. I don't know how much is in a burger uh, or, you know, cholesterol wise or, or calorie riser, or I, I don't know any of that. Uh, I'm not a dietitian, um, but I am stating that um, I know for a fact that if you drink water ahead of time, uh, not during dinner, that it's actually better for your body. It prepares your um, your, your body for the food that is to come. All right. And if you eat slower, um, it, it allows your stomach enough time. This is science. You can Google this. Um, it, it allows your stomach enough time to communicate to your brain and go, yeah, I'm full. I'm good for now. And, and you can finish that burger at another point, right? And you can do this with pretty much anything. Just slowly, inch your way toward the goal that you want to get to. It doesn't have to take, um, it doesn't have to be in one big leap like this mountain goat. You don't have to jump 12 feet, you know, jump an inch. We can all jump an inch, right? Jump an inch, jump two inches, jump three until you are comfortable with uh, jumping to where you're comfortable at, but it's still outside your comfort zone. But now you're comfortable and you're like, okay, I was comfortable at jumping at one inch, but now because I've practiced and practiced and practiced, now I'm comfortable with five feet, jumping five feet. You might not ever get to that 12 feet and that's okay. But the point is, is that you moved from one inch to five feet and that's drastic that's change. And now you're no longer anxious from point one, for, uh, point A to point B because that point B no longer feels like a risk at all to you, right? All right, my Leos, that was your reading here for the first half of February. I hope this reading did resonate. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, blah, blah, blah. You know all the deal. Um, until we meet next time, bye.